We're upgrading the suspension today. We're installing some super springs today. As you can tell, it's really snowy out today. And at our home, we got a little bit more snow than at my in-laws. So we're here today getting this installed so we can reduce our sway. And thankfully, there's some instructions here because like most things I've done on this van, I'm doing it for the first time. It should be pretty easy though. And I'm gonna try to do it without taking the wheel off. So let's see how it goes. So basically how this thing works is it's gonna sit over the leaf springs, the factory leaf springs, and we're gonna wrap this shackle joint around the leaf. This gets unbolted and then we rebolt it on. It goes over the one side of the leaf spring. We gotta clamp this down so we can bolt it down on this side. So front and rear, and then you release the, the clamp and it's gonna pull the tension on the leaf string reducing sway and also giving you a lift depending on what bolts you go down. So we're gonna, there's three bolts here. One, two, three, bolt holes. We're gonna go the lowest one and then depending on how much of a lift it gave, we can modify it and do two or three, which we're probably not gonna do because we want our van to be nice and flat. And these birds are singing. Basically it's gonna look something like this. Luckily my father-in-law is pretty handy and has a lot of these tools. We should be able to get this done pretty quick. Fingers crossed. I always say that though, right? And about 34 inches. We'll see if we get a lift. In terms of sockets, I'm using uh, the 9 sixteenths, a 3 fourths. It's only about seven bolts, so it should be pretty easy. I really should have picked a drier day here. Snow's melting, it was intense fog, all the roads were wet, things are dripping from the van, just water. This jacket's gonna be soaked. You know, it's a time and a place, but things gotta get done, so. So this, it's placed right here, and then I'm gonna put the super spring on top of that. First step is accomplished. We got this bracket in between here. We got the leaf spring on. One thing I want to point out, if you're installing these, make sure that the threaded side is facing outward. Okay? The threaded side of this bolt face outward. Same with what I'm gonna do next, which is right in here, which is this guy right here. It's gonna get slid through I'm gonna slide this right through this right here and over the over the super spring. So now it's on the outside. Next, I put this bolt here and you want the, the thread facing upwards. The instructions say to use this U-bolt and put it on the factory springs. And I think it makes sense to do that if your leaf springs have more than one leaf, but in my case, I don't. And you just take these down, you want to clamp it down and then you take it off. So in on my particular van, it doesn't really make sense to do this because it's not solving any purpose. For example, this is where it wants me to put the U-joint, just like this, tighten it down. And you can see there's only one here, so I wouldn't even be able to tighten it down all the way anyway. So I think it's just to keep your springs intact once you uh, apply the super spring to it because there's gonna be so much tension. So I'm gonna skip this step and if you only have one leaf here, you could probably skip it too, but that's just my opinion. Maybe add yeah, super springs themselves for the right answer. Next up, I'm gonna apply a C-clamp right to here to pull this down. And then I'm gonna tighten or put the bolt into the shackle here get this tightened down and then I'll use the C-clamp on the other side to pull that down. Taylor's not gonna be happy with me. I am pretty dirty. So there it is clamped down. I have this right here. I'm gonna be putting the threads on the outside, towards the outside of the van. Goes the bolt, the 
washer, the plastic grommet on top, and then the nut. All right. Okay, so I should be torquing this to 35 pounds, foot pounds, but I don't have a torque wrench, so I'm just gonna tighten it up. 35 pounds isn't that much. Could probably get a little bit tighter than that. Hope that's all right. So the beauty of this is that this plastic thing is what helps let this roll on the leaf spring itself. So you could crank this as much as you want. There's still gonna be some give in here, which will help it move along the leaf spring. This is on nice and tight. I can roll this, which is good. Now I'm gonna undo the C-clamps, make sure there's good pressure, and then I'm gonna tighten this bolt down here to this grommet. Haven't done that yet. Then we are done. Oh, not bad. It would definitely be easier taking the tire off, but I just don't want to have to worry about the van falling while I'm underneath it. If I had a jack and a shop, ooh, this would be done in like 20 minutes. So this is 916s here. We got the first side down. It's time to do the other side. Not too bad, just three bolts and two C-clamps. It's quite simple actually. If I took the tire off, I'd probably be done in 20 minutes. I'm just nervous and don't have enough jacks to support it and I'd rather be safe than sorry and take my time and do a little bit more work than get uh, you know a van falling on me so here's what it looks like on the outside see the spring in there looking fantastic did you bring an extra change of clothes? no you're looking a little dirty <laughs> yeah, there's not really an alternative solution to this. To what, your dirty clothes or uh, what you're doing down there? Really? So how's it going? It's good, one's done, now I'm on the other side. I just got underneath the van and I'm about to you put the other one in. I just got underneath the van to install the second side. <laughs> I was going to say, your clothes stay <laughs> otherwise. She's so sweet. <laughs> Alright, well, I best get to it. So you don't need my help, right? No. If I did get the sumo springs, which I'm hoping to get soon, they go right there. Pretty easy. You just remove this guy. I'm gonna put the other one in. I'm pretty pumped about that. Hopefully they come. Well, let's get this super spring in right now. Oh, that hurt, that C-clip. Oh. So fun crawling underneath the van, isn't it? Getting your work done. Front's down, now let's go clamp down the back, and then we're chilling. Then we just gotta tighten the one bolt. Two more bolts to do, and then we are done. One more bolt on the flange. That's it, we are done. Everything's tightened down. We're just gonna remove these clamps, and then we'll remove the jacks. And we'll see how much of a lift we got and then we'll go for a test drive and check out the swaying. So I just was looking at the super springs and noticed that the super spring is actually touching the frame. And I called up super springs just to make sure that that was right. And you do not want the super spring hitting the frame at all. So there's the front of the passenger side. You can see it's just hitting the frame right there. Let me turn my leg on. And then same here on the back, it's hitting the frame on the top there. I'm gonna go in the middle hole in the bracket and hopefully that fixes it. 
and I might push it this way a little bit too so it's not hitting the front of the frame. Just when you thought you're done, it's time to get back underneath. Now we got that gap right in there. And there's a gap all the way over there. Both sides, we had to go middle. One of these, it looks good now. <laughs> 34 and a quarter, we got about a half inch lift. Now it's time to go for a test drive. A little dirty. That's all right though. Let's see how it feels. Okay. Look who it is. You, you know me. Just testing the sway. How's it bounce? How's it going? I'm trying. It doesn't really bounce that much. This is feeling good. I'm pretty stoked. It just feels tighter in the back. I don't know how to describe it. Usually you get like the, the bounce back and forth as you do like a little like turn or waves. Here we go, tight right turn. And I'm not getting that, I don't feel it. It's just, I don't know. I can't wait to get that in combination with the sumo springs because when we were in Baja and we hit topes, it was so ridiculous when we just bottomed out. I don't know. Immediate notice of a difference. Immediately. Ride's good, man. Big shout out to Super Springs for sending these over to us and letting us install them and test them out. We are super pumped to have them on the van and we just can't wait to get the complete package. It's awesome. Yeah. So much less swaying. You can really feel the strength out of these things. Just feels a lot tighter in the back. So thank you guys. This is Taylor's first time <coughs> driving in the van with the Super Springs on. Let's see how they do. Hopefully she notices a difference. We'll see. Put it to the test. It just feels tighter. I want to see feel it as a, as a passenger. Because I feel like that's when you really notice. Because when you're driving, you're like leaning with the steering wheel and stuff. You want me to drive on the right hand? It's okay. It does feel smoother. Right? Yeah. I just feel like we would have been like leaning a little bit more. Yeah, I think it feels pretty good. When we're fully loaded, we won't sag anymore either. We're going to be level which is so good i think if we had these in baja oh yeah that gosh nice. it would have been incredible i want to get the sumo springs on it soon because then we could feel what it like hit a speed bump and that should nice. feel amazing too thank you you're welcome oh yeah that's that's not bad at all Nice. Much smoother of a ride. I wish we had it for Baja. Yeah, it would have been nice. Uh -huh. uh, I don't think so. Yeah, like that bump, we would have been knocked around. It is definitely way better. It's so weird how like two little things could make such a drastic. Is it and it's on the back. It's on the right? back, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked. Yeah, I think it feels good. Those bumps felt good. Yep, they feel good. It's so crazy, it's only three bolts. Yeah, it's nuts. I don't get it. Was it hard? No, the whole, no, not really. It's just, it's a tight space, you know what I mean? If yeah. I, if you had, if you put this on like a jack in a shop and lift it up, 
would be easy. Oh my god, it'd probably be like 30 minutes. That wraps up the install for the Super Springs. It was pretty easy and it's a good solution, especially if you have sway in your van. They're offering a 15% off code on their website right now. I'll leave the code in the description below and definitely recommend it. We wish we had them sooner. We wish we had them in Baja and we can't wait to get the Sumo Springs on it as well for when we hit speed bumps or topes in Baja. It's gonna give us the complete suspension package that we can install ourselves and save some money. But as you can see, we're not home right now. So we're gonna be getting back to our travel series and it's in a cold environment. So if you have any guesses, leave a comment below and we'll see you in the next one.